Welcome to Nerd World. Today it's a quick video just examining the ultimate MacGuffin of Star Trek, the tricorder, which has always fascinated me. It's like it's a little device that will do, as a script writer once said, what does a tricorder do? It does anything you want it to do in the episode. It's literally the ultimate MacGuffin. You can set off explosions with it. You can modify them to communicators. They tell you where there's life signs. They tell you what those life signs are. Is it a Tribble? Is it a Klingon trying to eat a Tribble? Is it a human? It is a, it is a human trying to be eaten by a Tribble. It'll tell you. It tells you everything. You've got medical dedicated versions, but also the general purpose one also seems to be able to work sort of as a medical track order as well. So I'm going to dive into it a little bit. What the hell is a tricorder? What actually are they? Before we properly get started, if you like this channel and the other and the content, there's lots of videos on this channel now. Um, there's a whole playlist of Star Trek. In fact, there's about three different Star Trek playlists on this channel now. I'll try and remember to link them, but I will probably forget. But please check them out. You might like a lot of it. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. And let's get started. Now, your standard issue... Starfleet tricorder, which have been around since at least the 22nd century, maybe earlier, but definitely since the 22nd century, as Starfleet officers had them as standard issued equipment. Even then, these were already capable of doing quantum analysis, detailed scans, biosignatures, etc. etc. They are generally tip ad identified as being a man portable handheld device useful for scanning data entry, identification, classification of different life forms. They can be used for, as I say, limited communications. They can also be utilized in defense for perimeter scanning, early warning systems. And they can also be used for personal log entries, general recording, taking um, images, and they can hold vast amounts of data information and they can perform a number of more specialized functions as well as having different specialized models that already exist such as the scientific model which is standardly used by Starfleet personnel generally is the most, most common and then the medical which is probably the second most common which usually has a small detachable component installed in it that augments and enhances its scanning abilities to be a more precise implement. They have alphanumeric displays by the 24th century. Before that, the 22nd century was fairly simple touchscreen. The 23rd century had a leather and chrome finish, which was a stylistic choice, which toned down the technical marvel that was the tricorder even then. But they also were to provide by very, very simple manual input control, voice control, and a small display screen. They also had small compartments on them that could contain, again, additional scanning equipment, such as the medical version, which was for handheld scanning, and even the scientific versions at that time also had additional attachments. These are a fantastic multifunctional tool that's useful in a variety of environments, although they have been known to occasionally cause problems, such as for the crew of Voyager when they boarded a mail on garbage scow, the tricorder scanning particles started igniting ambient gas and getting things all excited, causing energy discharges in the atmosphere and micro-explosions. They also, as Commander Data proved, that they make a fantastic hand puppet. And there you have it, the ultimate MacGuffin. Basically, this thing does whatever you want it to do. That's why they have such a wide variety of functions. Although you have to think, that one little thing, considering the advancements of computer technology, that one tricorder of a 24th century, the one that was used by the Enterprise D, probably has more computing power than all the computers in the United States put together and probably more memory, which is incredible. And I, I bet they do. We know that the Enterprise had a supercomputer on board that could easily run a planet without breaking a sweat. And that that's just the kind of fearsome technology they had. So it's kind of no wonder these things are so multifunctional. But basically, it's like, right, how... How do we get out of this situation? I don't know. Scan it with the tricorder. There we go. We're beating it. Let's beam back up to the ship. How? Use the tricorder. They're a <laughs> brilliant. Whoever thought them up was a genius. It's like the idea of the transporter. We can't afford to land the ship every week. So uh, we'll just beam down. We'll just goldfish bowl and some glitter and superimpose that over a person. We'll call it special effects and transport them. Woo. 
<laughs> and the tricorder is an extension of that philosophy. It's just a man portable scanning equipment. Although, typical Star Trek kind of predicted it. There's such devices starting to exist even now, although they're much more limited, of course. Fantastic little device seen in every series of Star Trek from the original series to the next generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, back to Enterprise, and all the way back again to Discovery and forward to Picard. You see these things. They're a wonderful tool and an essential on any away mission, particularly going into unfamiliar territory. These things can scan kilometers away. You know that there's dangerous animals, poisonous plants, whatever. Where drinkable water is if you really need it. Everything you could need. And one handy little hand puppet. Well, that's all on the tricorder. As if you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. And with that said, bye bye.